You really are doing better than you realize. December 8, 2013 Let us discuss with you today the ways in which you interpret the channeled messages which you are given. We of course know that these will be received in the manner that they are. But it will be helpful, perhaps, for you to see the things which we see. Many channels and their messages are influenced more than others by their own belief systems, by their predisposition toward one interpretation of information or another. This may be slight or it may not. All messages are, because of the methods involved, meaning telepathy, subject to greater or lesser degrees of accuracy. This is not to convey, nor is it meant to, any disapproval of anyone who is trying very hard to provide the best information they can to you in these times. Every sincere effort is appreciated. In our description of this process, we have now arrived at the point where there is a readable or audible message for your access, exactly like what you are reading or hearing now. Each of you will read or hear this and will accept or reject it according to its resonance with what you already believe. And at this point, the message is further changed. You have a children's game, called Telephone, that illustrates this very process. In the game, the more people involved, the more the original message is changed. Now, it is also possible for the message to be changed more toward its original intent. And here we come to the point we wish to make. If, once each individual receives the message, each of you take what you have heard or read, and sits with it in your heart, your heart will help you to get the most truth out of it that is possible for you in the moment. If you ask, you will have as much help with it as the channel did when he or she received it. This is the discernment of which we speak so often. Your ability to do this is growing as we progress along this journey. Looking back, we are sure you can see how your understandings have been changing, sometimes gently and gradually, sometimes radically. We see some having what you call aha moments in which many pieces of a puzzle fall together. Aren't those wonderful? One last thing we would mention. No one on your plane of creation has the entire truth of anything. Therefore we ask that you judge neither yourselves nor any other. After all, you can only compare their portion of the truth to your own portion. Rather, it would serve you well to honor the other for being on the journey just as you are, and to wish them the very best. That does not mean you need to espouse anything with which you do not agree, does it? Simply honor their efforts at living and learning as best they can. At this point, we would like to honor each of you for your living and learning as best you can, and also to offer our love and support in your doing so. You really are doing better than you realize. We will speak again soon. Good day. Archangel Michael Channeled by Ron Head. Oracles and Healers.wordpress.com